Acute hepatitis B treatment. Is acute hepatitis B as common? Acute viral hepatitis is very common in the world. In most cases of acute viral hepatitis resolve on their own in few days, but some persist and progress to chronic hepatitis. When you know hepatitis B is gone, while anyone infected with acute hepatitis B infection less than six months, in between, your immune system will be trying to clear the virus from your body. If it is removed completely, then you will recover completely within a few months. Is acute hepatitis B infection short lived? People with acute viral hepatitis usually recover in four to eight weeks, even without treatment. Acute hepatitis B infection is short lived or it might last a long time, also known as chronic. No specific treatment for acute hepatitis B. There is no specific treatment for acute hepatitis B as of now. Chronic hepatitis B can be treated by follow up the routine checkup and medications. Acute viral hepatitis is inflammation of the liver, generally meaning inflammation caused by infection with one of the five hepatitis viruses, such as hepatitis A, B, C, D, and E, in most people. The inflammation begins suddenly and lasts only a few weeks. Acute inflammation can be none to very severe. Symptoms range from none to very severe in case of acute inflammation. Affected people may have a poor appetite, nausea, vomiting, fever, pain in the upper right part of the abdomen, yellow eyes, high alt, ast, bilirubin, and jaundice, red or dark urine, low fever, pain in abdomen area. The only and one way is. Vaccines are can prevent hepatitis A, B, and E. Hepatitis E vaccine is available in China only. Other viruses can also cause acute viral hepatitis. These viruses include the Epstein Barr virus called EBV, which is the virus that causes infectious mononucleosis. Getting tattoos or body piercing, sharing needles to inject drugs. Or having multiple sex partners increases the risk of developing hepatitis. The people who smoke, a disfavor for cigarettes, is a typical symptom. Occasionally, especially with hepatitis B, infected people develop joint pains and itchy red hives on the skin. Acute hepatitis B usually d i s a p p e a r within a week, and people feel better even though the jaundice may worsen. The jaundice usually peaks in one to two weeks, then fades over two to four weeks. But it can sometimes take s much longer to resolve completely. Diagnosis of acute viral hepatitis Acute viral hepatitis based on symptoms, and your doctor can understand you have acute or chronic hepatitis. During the physical examination, a doctor presses on the abdomen above the liver. Which is tender and somewhat enlarged in about half of the people with acute viral hepatitis. HBSAG, HBV DNA, anti HBE, LFT, liver ultrasound tests are required in the primary stage to identify which hepatitis virus is causing the infection. If the diagnosis is unclear, a liver biopsy doctor will be suggested. In that a sample of liver tissue will be taken with a needle and examined. These blood tests can detect parts of specific viruses or specific antibodies produced by the body to fight the viruses. Antibodies are proteins produced by the immune system to help defend the body against attack by viruses and other foreign invaders. Routine vaccination with the hepatitis A vaccine and hepatitis B vaccine is recommended in the United States or other parts of the world for all children and for adults. We have already made a video on how to get vaccinated in a proper way. Please find in our channel New Vaccines for HBV. For most people with acute viral hepatitis, special treatment is not necessary. However, People with severe acute hepatitis may require hospitalization so that symptoms can be treated. 
If doctors suspect that fulminant hepatitis is developing, the person is hospitalized so that mental status can be monitored, liver tests can be done, and doctors can determine whether liver transplantation is needed or not. People with hepatitis should not drink alcohol until they have fully recovered. People with acute hepatitis C infection should be treated with antiviral drugs to decrease the risk of transmission of the infection to others and to decrease the risk of hepatitis becoming chronic. If you like this video then please share your comment in the comment box. Please subscribe and share our videos. Stay happy stay healthy. Thanks for watching Great Wisdom of Health Channel.